welcome. I'm Rupert Cooper and this is the Rupert Cooper Show. And as you can see, we're looking a bit different today, but we still are in Batley, as you'll see on the opening titles in a minute. But first, we've got to discuss what's going up on today's show. So we discuss what which part of Saturday Night Takeaway last night you enjoyed the most. We have a vote to see if I should stay on the Rupert Cooper Show. We show you how to make a spring out of an A4 piece of paper. We discuss whether or not McDonald's or KFC are more popular. We discuss the Prime Minister's bad report. We tell you the crazy events of the year by National Geographic. And, no, we show you how to make a paper hat. And we do the weather. All coming up on today's The Rupert Cooper Show. But before that, you've got to have this. Recording from RTV Television Studios in Batley, this is The Rupert Cooper Show, with me, Rupert Cooper. Right then, so shall we get started with today's show? So first, we're going to discuss some of the, your favourite parts of Saturday Night Takeaway on the 26th of the 2nd, 2022. So we've had some comments in, and here's the first one. I like the part where Mary Poppins was on the end of the show show. That was a good part of the show, but the bit that I enjoyed the most was when they did the uh, ring my doorbell part, especially good. And the fact that they give £5,000 out just for ringing a doorbell. That, that part is exceptionally good. Um, and I can let you into a look. Uh, I also liked uh, um, the, the uh, programme part about the devil. Um, and then it's the, uh, the prank was good as well. Um, I can also let you into a little secret. Uh, um, this is... Well, you probably already know if you've watched it last night. But last night, um, Paloma Faith was on it. Um, the celebrity at Craig Gravel Hollywood was uh, uh, doing so, uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Out of My Ear. Um, and Paloma Faith was announcing. Um, and yeah. So, um, now that we've talked about that, we are going to have a vote to see if I should stay or leave the Rupert Cooper show. And much more coming up on today's The Rupert Cooper Show. Um, but first, here's this. Angry loud. Right then. So let's let's start the vote then. We have had one person vote me out and sixty five people voting me in. So it looks like I'm staying as a presenter on this show, but it makes sense really because it is the Rupert Cooper show. Maybe they changed the name to like the uh, new name of the person show. I don't know. That's an interesting thing. I'll have a look at my, I'll ask, uh, ask uh, my uh, studio manager. I forgot his name, but he's definitely grumpy. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, anyway. Um, I'm looking forward to presenting other shows on this, uh, this particular uh, type of show, the Rupert Cooper show as well. Um, Oh, also, do you like my new dinner? I got to make it from here. I might paint it green. Maybe. Maybe what? <laughs> that is my studio director saying I just not showed him. That's <laughs> Dad sat on the sofa waiting to be a guest on this show. But it's not going to happen today because he keeps going on about the Michael Cooper show that I've done it. <laughs> so, I don't think I'm going to have him as a guest on this show. Hmm. As you can hear, we have an aeroplane just flying above it. Above, you might not be able to see it, but you can see the big uh, uh, window in the roof. Oh, I'm quite 
chili. Oh, also, do you like my new Rupert Cooper show jumper? And, just to make things even better, zoom in, please, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's laughing because I'm going with Bobby by his actual name. Oh, and it looks like we have to move on now. So, um, let me just clear it. Let me hear it. So still to come, we show you how to make a spring out of a paper, out of an A4 piece of paper, and much more coming up on the Rupert Cooper show today. But first, here's this. Right then. So now we're going to make an, a a spring out of an A4 piece of paper. But we, you don't have to use a um. You you need a piece of paper or paper, you can use any type of paper, a ruler, and you don't need a pair of scissors because if you've got hands like me, where you can where you have really good tearing skills, then there you go. By tearing skills, I mean that's a joke because I'm rubbish at tearing. If I can actually do it, that might help. Anyway, so what you do is you cut out a strip of paper about this long. Then you fold it about a centimetre in. Can I have a zoom in on that, please? Right, so then you keep doing that, going backwards and forwards and backwards. And then eventually, we've come to an end. Well, that's a good thing. So that means we've got our paper string, spring, string, paper spring. You can do as many of, the, of these as you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you can use them like to pop up cards and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, so we'll pop that back there. And uh, still to come. Uh, and you can use some pens to decorate, but still to come. <laughs> we discuss whether McDonald's or KFC are more popular, much more coming up on the Rupert Cooper show. So shall we start discussing? So. Here is our first common in. McDonald's and KFC are two of the most popular fa uh, fast food chains loved by many around the world. When it comes to hamburgers, McDonald's is always a top option. I'll let you into a little secret. I don't like hamburgers. The reason is because the, these vary of two chains because they have their own, well, like they have their own signature food, really. Um, and then KFC for fried chicken, as everybody knows how good KFC's fried chicken is, on their popcorn chicken, that is extremely good. Um, yeah, um, so now that we've discussed about that, next we discuss about the PM's bad report, the Prime Minister's bad report, bad by Sue Gray actually. Just to let you know, this report did come from the week junior magazine so i have not i have not reported on this myself it's come from the week junior magazine just to let you know and um, but before all that we're going to do the weather so if we have a look I'm Rupert Cooper. I'm also a TV presenter, not just a weather presenter. Anyways, uh, if we look closer around the earth, we'll see that in Edinburgh we've got uh, quite low to two degrees, really. And then in Belfast, Cardiff and Brussels, we have five degrees. But then Dublin um, and Manchester, we're going up to four degrees. Um, it's quite low, but then when you go to London, we've got six degrees. And then, should we have a look at the map for tomorrow? Um, in Lerwick, Inverness, Belfast, Manchester and Cardiff we have uh, clouds with some sunny spells but which takes us back here Edinburgh two degrees but there is sunny which is quite surprising then London was six degrees and there it's just cloudy there and um, so Holland London we just have some clouds with no sun um, and then uh, so today we have tops of seven degrees uh, the quite low of eight degrees and then the same for uh, tomorrow and then for Tuesday it's up to eight degrees minimum of four degrees. Then uh, on Wednesday tops of eleven degrees minimum of six degrees. Then going on to Thursday we have
have tops of 11 degrees minimum of 9 degrees and our outlook for Monday to Wednesday. Monday will remain dry with bright spells across the, the north and for some in the west cloudier towards the south southeast however Tuesday will continue dry and there will be plenty of sunshine for all. A moderate a moderate, sorry, a moderate southerly wind is expected for most to be breezier still on Wednesday. However, staying dry with plenty of sunshine for the most. Crikey. Um, so that was our weather. We will also have the weather at the end just to let you know. So now, we're going to take a look at the PM Spans report. <laughs> as you all should know. So I'll just read you a short clip from uh, the story. On the 31st of January, details of the report looking into parties that were said to have had taken place at 10 Downing Street, the Prime Minister's official re residence. During lockdown, uh, it was during lockdown was released. The document, which was put together by Sue Gray. Sue Gray works for the Cabinet Office, which is a government department that's uh, supports the Prime Minister and looks after the smooth running of the government. And Ian Blackford, the leader of the Scottish National Party in Westminster, was made to leave the House of Commons for saying that Boris Johnson was a liar. And they're not allowed to say that uh, people have misled, pa misled Parliament. It is against the... It's a unparliamentary language. Um... I have just been told by my studio manager, sadly, that I have to end the show after our next uh, our, after our next discussion. So I'm just going to tell you quickly the uh, activities of National Geographic. Then I'll do the weather. Then our show will be over, unfortunately. Um, let's just move back to our Rupert Cooper thing in the back. So January Voodoo Festival, tuna toss. Then February Groundhog Day. Egg to do Citron. Then in March we have Leadville Ski Jewelry. Then in April we have Naghol Wander Diving. Nakizumo, Nakizumo, Nakizumo Crane Baby Festival. Um, in May we have a uh, Kinetic Sculpting Race, Hunting of the Earl of Rome. Uh, of Rome. And in June we have El Colacho. Then Coney Island Mermaid Parade. Then in July we have uh, Kirk Pinner Oil Wrestling Festival. That must be hard. Then in August we have Puck Fair. Then in September we have Onion Eating Competition. Oh crikey. <laughs> um, then we have World Gurning Championships. Then in October we have um, Polar Circle Marathon. Going into November, we have Giant Kite Festival. Then in December, the year of Christmas, Christmas Pudding Race, Surfing Santas, and uh, else Enfaranitas. Never heard of that before. Yeah. Um, mm, crikey. So then, um, now that we've discussed that, we won't, unfortunately, I can quickly show you how to make a paper hat, but then I have to go. So, uh, now let's start making a paper hat, then we'll do the weather. So, I'll first get an A4 piece of paper and fold it in half. Can I have a zoom in, please? It's funny how I have to ask my cameraman to, to zoom in. Um, so, then like that. Or camera woman, could be a woman. Like that. So, you'll see that you can open it like that. You don't have that side like that, flip it over. And then do another thing. Keep that this side like this, and then fold it down like that. And do the same on the other side. Like that. Then you'll see you've got two floppy bits at the bottom. If you're done, don't worry. That just means you've done it the wrong way. So just flip it over and do the same. So then pull, pull one of these floppy bits off and fold it, like that. 
They do the same with the other. And you've got your very own paper hat. It's quite, it's that easy. Um, and if you want to decorate it, you can with whatever you want. Um, pen, pencils. You can use whatever you want. Um, so unfortunately that nearly brings us to the end of our show. Uh, we've just got the weather now. Um, and then we're done. So can I have my weather intro please? So, uh, if we look close on the earth, you'll see that uh, Belfast, Cardiff and Brussels has 5 degrees, London has 6 degrees, Dublin has 4 degrees and Manchester has 4 degrees. And in Edinburgh, it's 2 degrees. And it's surprising really, because Edinburgh has sun tomorrow, then going back to Manchester. All those have clouds and sunny spells, except for London and Hull. London and Hull don't have any sun, but do have clouds. Um, uh, we've gone through this, I'll just uh, have a zoom in on that if you can see it. Can, can we see it alright? Yeah. Right, so Sunday, tops of 7 degrees. Monday, tops of 7 degrees. Tuesday, tops of 8 degrees. Quite a sunny day really. Wednesday, cloudy, but tops of 11 degrees. Thursday, again, cloudy, but tops of 11 degrees. Now, moving on to our outlook from Monday to Wednesday. Monday will remain dry with bright spells across the north and for some in the west, cloudy towards the south and east. However, Tuesday will continue dry and there will be plenty of sunshine for all. A moderate southerly wind is expected for the most, turning breezier still on Wednesday. Half staying dry with plenty of sunshine for most. So, From us all here today at the Rupert Cooper Show, I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed our show today. Hope you have a great one next time. Bye. -bye. <laughs>